Good run at the plate, hit it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. And the home team down to run. It's Major League Baseball. on the show set for the bottom of the third and now the first baseman Matt Gorski here comes a pitch line drive and that should be extra bases around first digging for two into second base the tying run is on with a leadoff double man those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever such a good feeling you see a ball come off the bat like that you know it was pretty much a perfect swing and for me i start wondering i'm looking on the computer what was the exit velocity this time 106. now batting key brian hayes he's already homered in this one Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Winker puts the squeeze on that one. Runner tagging for third. Was able to move the runner up to third on that deep fly to center, but I think at this point, he wants to get him over and get him in. Here's the second baseman, Mark Mathias. Fly to right his first time. And that one is lifted in the air. Weimer, long run. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. As a run scores on the play, and that ties the game. Well, tack one more game onto his hitting streak, Boo. Every day, this guy just keeps making his record harder and harder to reach. I still can't believe what he's doing. Yeah, neither can I. It's like he's playing on beginner mode out there. So digging in, G1 Bay. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. And out of here. They're going crazy in the dugout, and it gives them the lead in the third. It's Every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. And now it's going to be O'Neal Cruz. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Winker, drop step, going back. Gone! He made him pay for that one, and they add to their lead. It's 6-3. back jacks and this club is fired up right now boog i mean this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other and the collective confidence just continues to grow so one out nobody on now the left fielder jack sawinski liner caught it second from up here it looked like that liner might be splitting the gap in right center that's one of those atom balls you just have to live with as a hitter Here's the Pirates catcher now, Andy Rodriguez. 0 for 1 so far. And that one hammered. That's back. And that one is out of here. The Rockets one to right, and they tack on to their lead. It's 7-3. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish.
He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. Wade Miley into the game. Coming on to face a righty bat, and they've had quite a bit of success against him this year. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way. And gone. Andrew McCutcheon blasts one out. And they tack one on the board. It's 8-3. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for, crushes it, and hits it out of the ballpark. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the D.H. Rodolfo Castro. Miley, 36 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2008. Turned on, but foul wide of third. And he'll two. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. Wind of the pitch. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. They bring nine to the plate and six come around to score. On to inning number four. And welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Luis Urias. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Bay going back. Back some more. And he makes the catch on the track. Just missed a homer that time. Woo. He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Next is the designated hitter, Mike Brasso. That's in there. And that's strike one. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Out of here. His second of the year, and they cut into the lead. It's 8-4. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And... You know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel and he got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here. That one hammered but pulled foul. The 0-2. Good eye in that that's spot. Ball, that's a, a good take. And a ground ball to first, foul. and foul ball. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away, still one and two. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Left-hand hitter waits. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Now two out. So up next, Jesse Winker. One for one. He singled the left his first time through. Two 
That one's in there, 0 and 1. To the right side. He'll do it himself. That ends the frame. But the Brewers get one back on the solo home run. It's now an 8 4 score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Give me everything you got. Stripping down in the parking lot. Bottom of the fourth at the plate for Pittsburgh, Matt Gorski. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And there's the strike. You know, these Pirates putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They were obviously... And he can't come up with it. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. Key Brian Hayes, the next Pirate to hit. He's already homered in this game. So if they're looking to feast, are you saying they've already got a plate but are looking to go back for seconds? <laughs> yeah, I'd say something like that. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Line drive, Adam in center field. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He circles the bases, his latest homer in an incredible season. It's 9-4. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Two outs, nobody on. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, G1 Bay. And a foul ball. Out towards right center field. That's down. One hops off the wall. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Man in scoring position.
the two away. And now here is O'Neill Cruz. He's already homered here in this one. Ripped to right center, and that one will leave the park. Out of here. That'll fire up the dugout, and they add a couple more. It's 11-4. Cutter up and in can be such a tough pitch for the hitters. You have to keep your hands above the baseball, and that's exactly what he did. He caught it out front and drove it out of here. New pitcher now, Joel Pyams. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. So two away with nobody on. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. That one ripped left field. That's back. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Around second now as they still don't have it. Passes third. He wants it all. Not in time. He makes it safely for an inside the park home run. Well, they call it one of the most exciting plays in baseball for a reason, Boog. Always fun to see an inside the parker. And, man, he was flying out of the box. And I think that by the time he was getting a second, he had it in his mind to go all the way. That's his great hustle from start to finish.